And on top of all of this, we have the Steam Deck. Recently, Valve announced a new console, the Steam Deck. And this is huge because it unlocks new opportunities for Godot game developers. I'm Adrian, this is Redefine, let's find out together. The news is out already. Next year, Valve is gonna release a new handheld console, which is gonna run its own custom distribution of Linux called Steam OS. And I don't want to go into the specs because you probably already know them, or if you don't, there are a lot of other pages which you can find them out. What we are gonna talk about in this video are the opportunities that Godot game developers especially get by using this latest console. Up until recently, porting games from Godot to consoles was a real struggle. Because of this, a lot of game developers gave Godot a hard pass, but this is going to change very soon. I want to have a quick mention here. The Steam Deck is not the only thing that helps Godot with its platform problem. One other is Gotham.io, which offers game developers support on porting to Nintendo Switch. And it's quite cool because it's revenue share based, so you don't have to get money upfront. And the other one is Microsoft open sourcing their game SDK. So probably we'll see Godot for Xbox in the near future. And on top of all of this, we have the Steam Deck. This is crazy. Now more than ever, Godot is gonna grow. And a lot of barriers that in the past were standing between game developers and releasing their games on the platforms are getting down one by one. Speaking of barriers, Unity recently announced they're putting up a paywall so you cannot longer publish your game on the consoles with the free version of Unity. By the way, if you want to learn game development and don't know where to start, I've created this free guide for you called Your First Steps in Game Development. You can find it in the link down below. Let's get back a little to the Steam Deck. So it offers something unique that is a little different from the, all the other consoles out there. Because usually porting games to consoles takes time and money. And it's not easily done by this, by just pressing a button, because you have to adjust a lot of stuff to make sure that your game works properly on different consoles. The big difference that I'm referring about is the fact that all consoles have their own proprietary operating system that needs tweaks and a lot of other stuff to make sure that your game works on them. Team Deck uses a custom version of Linux. So basically, if your game runs on a PC with Linux, then it should work on the Steam Deck. Basically one click away, if not zero. What this means for Godot developers, probably the easiest way to publish your game onto the console because you don't have to do anything extra. Even mouse input based games will work because of the touch inputs. One other nice thing specific to Godot is the fact that you can find Godot engine on Steam library. And this means that you can create games while also you're playing them on your Steam Deck. With Unity or Unreal, you might be able to run them, but you will have to tweak the operating system, maybe change it to Windows, and probably this will void the warranty of your device. This will boost Linux gaming a lot. And while I might be digressing a little from the main topic, I want to say how important it is to have gaming on Linux. With all this data mining and telemetry from your operating system, your frameworks, your platforms, your engines, having Linux and Godot to create and run your games is like a breath of fresh air using FOSS to make sure that your privacy is, is safe. By the way, if you like the content so far, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all of your support. This is why I think Godot is the perfect match for the new Steam Deck. Up until this point, Godot games were mostly 2D. And I think this is an advantage because having 7 inch real estate for screen is not a lot. And having two dimensions instead of three makes your game much more easy to be perceived by the player. And I'm not saying that 3D games are not gonna be a blast on the Steam Deck, because they're gonna be. But the thing is, you might already have a project made in Godot ready to be published on the new Steam Deck. Probably the killer feature of the Steam Deck is the fact that developers don't need special game dev kits and approvals to publish their games on the console. You just publish your game on Steam and it should be on the Steam Deck like this. This will democratize the um, game development on consoles, but it will also allow a lot of asset flips, unfortunately. What do you think about the new Steam Deck? Do you think it will change Godot forever? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm Adrian and see you in the next one.